Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a 14-year-old pitcher with elbow pain, and he has a large osteochondral defect of his capitellum. So this is one of those classic things when you see a pitcher and they have a defect in the capitellum. It's an osteochondral defect, and this can be associated with pitching. They have impaction on the radiocapitellar joint here, and they have a distraction over here on the medial ulnar collateral ligament. So this comes down here, attaches to this pointy part of the humerus. This is called the sublime tubercle right here. And so we're going to look at two things in pictures, the medial ulnar collateral ligament and then the capitellum to make sure there's not an OCD. So clearly there's a big osteochondral defect right there. And when we see an OCD, we want to decide is there loosening, is there displacement, um, because that's what the surgeons want to know. If there's no loosening or undermining of fluid or displacement, then they may be able to treat it conservatively. But if not, then they have to go in and drill it. And in this case, we see that there's an awful lot of fluid going underneath it. So this is uh, definitely um, a, a loose. And we also see this linear band here. This is a fragment that is um, displaced. So this is a displaced osteochondral fragment. They'll definitely need to have surgery done here. If we put up a sagittal view, you can see the bone displacement a little bit better. We're going to go towards the lateral side here. They have a big joint diffusion. And here's that osteochondral defect. You can see fluid starting to undermine the osteochondral defect here. And if we go one more cut over, there's that osteochondral fragment. It's displaced backwards a little bit. You can see that fluid filled gap in the cortex. So a loose displaced bone fragment or osteochondral fragment that's going to have to be put back in place. Now we're going to go back to the coral images to look at that medial ulnar collateral ligament again. And so here we go. This is the ligament coming down. This is that pointy part, the sublime tubercle. And normally it'll blend right with it. You shouldn't see any fluid signal at the attachment. And it blends right with the pointy part. But in this case, we see there's a little vertical cleft of fluid right there. And even though that's very, very subtle, that's enough to say there's a partial tear of the UCL. It should blend just like this, where it comes in and just perfectly blends with the bone. But when you see that little cleft and then a bigger cleft like this, this is a partial tear of the UCL. And again, this goes along with this. They impact here and distract here, and they have these two findings. So large, loose osteochondral fragment from an osteochondral defect and a partial tear of the ulnar collateral ligament attachment to the sublime tubercle and a large joint diffusion. Thank you very much.